Welcome to another Countryside Adventures video. Today we're going to be checking out the Mr. Heater Little Heater Buddy. And this could be a good solution for anyone looking to heat up either a small space, camper, tent, anything like that, or just looking for a good reliable heat source in emergency situations. So let's check out the Little Heater Buddy. So I did pick up the Little Heater Buddy off of Amazon, and so as you go through this video, if this is a product that you might be interested in, there is an affiliate link down in the description below. But let's just start out by unboxing the Little Heater Buddy and see what this consists of, because this is actually my first experience with one of these particular heaters. Now we'll go over that here in just a moment. Sog. So let's see what we have. So the packaging looks really straightforward. So we just have an instruction booklet on top. And so we basically just have a molded fit for the contents. Put that off to the side. Then we have what is obviously a stand for a one pound propane bottle. And we have handle to the top. And we have our actual heater. And then just a molded contents down the bottom. So I'll just go through this really fast, obviously, because this is actually what you want to see. But really quick, it just says indoor safe, uh, life safety system, patent pending igniting system, emergency low oxygen shut off, tip over protection, designed with flame retardant materials, and three year warranty. And then as we flip over to side number two, heavy duty handles, radiant tiles, 45 degree heating area, and 3800 BTUs heats up to 95 square foot, 5.6 hours on a one pound propane bottle. We have an eight inch tank base, reinforced wire guard at the front and no electricity required. So that is the basics of what comes labeled on the box. And then we can just pull off obviously a plastic, get that out of the way. And then we have a tag zip tied to it that says do not remove. So for the time being, I'm gonna leave that on there. At the top does have a warning for hot because obviously heat rises. So if your bottle is down here and it's in this 45 degree position, this area is definitely gonna get hot. And you can see the tile heating element down there on the front. And so this basically just has an off and on. One of the things that I personally think is interesting about this is the fact that it is not adjustable. So I would almost like to see an adjustable feature on this just to kind of control the heat level and how much fuel you're using. But I do not see a way to control the heat level on this. So I have to assume that this is basically either on or off. So we're just going to go with that for the time being. Now, as I stated earlier, I do not have any experience with the little heater buddy, but I do have experience with other Mr. Heater products. So let's do a quick comparison to the other products that I do have on hand. So that you can see that along with the little heater buddy that I do actually have the heater buddy and the big buddy heater. What I thought we'd do is actually just grab a tape measure and do just kind of like a quick overview of any measurements. That way you kind of have an idea for a comparison. If you have a particular space that you want to fit these into, you'll kind of have an idea of what may fit where and why. So let's just start with the smallest one, the little heater buddy. And so at its widest point, it is just about nine inches wide. And obviously you can see that I've got a one pound propane bottle on there with that. And if we go from the table up to the top, it is about 18 inches tall. So the heater buddy at its widest point is about 14 and a half. And at its tallest point, which is actually the top of this grill, it is actually going to be about 14 and a half again. And one of the things that I do want to point out with the heater buddy is it does have a dial and it does have adjustable heat. Now the little buddy heater and the buddy heater both take one pound propane cylinders. The big buddy heater will actually utilize two propane cylinders if you want. You don't have to, it'll just take one, but it does have a compartment to utilize two one pound propane cylinders. And again, just like the buddy heater, the big buddy heater does have a dial, so it is your ignition source and as well, it is adjustable for your temperature. So the big buddy heater at its tallest point, it's gonna be about 17 and a quarter. And at its widest point, you're looking at about 19 inches. And not that it actually makes any difference, but your propane cylinders do have their own compartment on the Big Buddy heater, so they just go inside like so. Now, one key feature to note on the Big Buddy heater is the fact that it does have a switch and a battery compartment. That way you can go ahead and have a small fan to move some of that heat around on the Big Buddy heater. And so one of my reasonings for picking up the Little Buddy heater is in the wintertime when Colin and I are hunting, we have a little Jayco 174BH little bunkhouse RV, and it's like a little 19 foot camper. Definitely not very big, but it does have a little restroom facility and a place for us to get some sleep and eat a hot meal. 
And so one of my thoughts was obviously not when we were in the furnace, and that's what we're going to continue to do to be safe, is as that fan cycles for the furnace and we run the water pump and things like that, we're going to be consuming some of our electrical power out of our batteries. And so my thought was just during the day for hanging out, a lot of times I'll take my laptop, do some video editing, actually keep up with work that pays the bills, talk and do some schoolwork, things like that. If we had just an extra heat source that we didn't have to run the furnace during the day or maybe late in the evenings, things like that, we could just turn this on, have a small heat source, no big deal. And then once it gets late, we can just turn this off, leave it completely off and just go ahead and run the furnace on the RV. That way we have a safe source of heat. We can just have one or two of these small little one pound bottles. We can set this up obviously while we're awake, not a big deal. We have plenty of warmth and we're comfortable. So that was kind of the thought process to picking this little heater up. And as a side note, but it's going to be completely dependent upon your opinion and how much money you're looking to spend, how much initial investment you want to spend. I think the one pound propane bottles right now at Walmart for the four pack are like 10 bucks. So basically you say right at 250 a bottle. And so for me personally, just over time, I have picked up a handful of these Flame King bottles and a couple of these filters. And I just like to refill the Flame King bottles off of our 20 pound propane bottles. Just saves a little bit of money. Now there is obviously that upfront initial expense because these bottles are more expensive. But in the long run, I do feel that it saves a little bit of money if you go through quite a bit of these. So just a quick thought, if that's something you may want to consider, just want to throw it out there. So with that, let's go ahead and throw a filter on this and we'll see if we can get this little heater buddy fired up and see how it does. I'm gonna set that off to the side. And if you do decide to use the Flame King bottle and the filter combination, this is super simple. So it basically goes together just like any other one pound propane bottle combination. There is actually just a clear protective sleeve that goes over the little plunger and male end of that filter. So I definitely recommend keeping these that way you don't get that little plunger damaged. So I always just like to keep those in the package. This just screws onto your bottle. And when you do this, make sure that you pay attention to not cross thread it or that could be just me but it seems like those brass and aluminum threads always have a tendency to want to try and start to cross thread or it could be just my viking finesse i don't know but just screws together so there we go now we have a flame king bottle and an inline filter so ignition is just super simple we just have on over here, it's red. We have off up top, and it does have some little clear cut instructions right there on the side. I hope you can get a view of this, but down at the bottom of that white tile is a small ignition source. And as you press it, it's gonna spark. And once it sparks, you're gonna have a blue flame come out. And that blue flame is gonna be your pilot. So you're gonna hold the start for about 30 seconds. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna heat up a safety heating element. And then you can let off. And once you let off, that's gonna heat up the rest of that tile. And so you can see that flame run across that tile. And now we're activated and we have full heat coming out of it. So I'm gonna let this run just about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And I may speed this up, I may not. I probably wanna keep this in real time just so you have an idea. That way, if you're going out to like tent camping, a hunting blind, anything like that, you can kind of get an idea of exactly how fast you're gonna have a heat source because you know, if you're in that kind of situation, it does truly get cold on you and you're like, I need heat now. So I kind of like to give you an idea of how long you're gonna have to wait. So you can see now that our tile is completely covered in that red hue. And so I'm just gonna use just an infrared temperature gun. I know it's not gonna be super, super accurate, but I know it's gonna be close enough. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this on. And so now right now on my tabletop, ambient temperature is about 75 degrees. That should be pretty close to correct. And so I'm just going to go ahead and hit that tile. And so the tile basically just says over temperature. So I'm going to go, okay, so I'm at the top edge of the black out there. And it's 200. We've gone to 294. We're up to 330, 341, 340. So it looks like we've leveled out about between 340 and 345. Now up here where this little area is, it says caution hot. I'm gonna go ahead and get an idea of that. I know I hadn't ran very long, but still, but in that short time, that surface that says hot is already coming up between 304 and 306 degrees. So that is absolutely gonna be a hot area. So the little indicator right there is definitely correct. Do not touch that, whatever you do. Just kind of get this in a good safe position. 
And one of the things that I really like about the Heater Buddy stuff is the fact that it is indoor safe. So again, we're gonna be using this in our little bunkhouse camper, but definitely this is something that you wanna pay attention to because any heat source like this using propane is gonna use up a small amount of oxygen. So just make sure that you're paying attention to that. You know, don't go to bed at night and just leave this thing running, anything like that. Just make sure that you're being safe and you read all the safety information correctly. And so Mr. Heater does have recommended clearance areas for the little buddy heater. And so their recommendations are 30 inches above, 24 inches out to the front, eight inches out to the side, and basically zero on the back side. So you could put this, you know, like up against a, you know, dinette, something like that with no worries. Just make sure that you leave a little bit of a gap right there and it can sit right there and be no problem. As long as you have plenty of clearance around the front and obviously over the top because, well, that heat is going to rise up and you could have a bad situation if you have something that's too low close to that heat source. And so now that the little heater buddy has been running for a while, you can really feel the heat source coming off of that. It's absolutely doing a fantastic job. And I do like the fact that the mounting position is at that 45 degree angle to put that heat out kind of in an upward and forward angle at the same time. And so to shut it down, super simple. We are just going to hold that off button. You can hear it click. And we're completely shut down. So I'm gonna let that sit there and cool down for a little bit before I disassemble it. And so while the heater buddy cools off for a moment, I am going to run over what I believe are the pros and cons real quick of the little heater buddy from my initial evaluation. So the cons are obviously propane cylinders. They get expensive and they can get expensive really quick. Uh, next thing is with the one pound propane cylinders, again, could be just my Viking hands, but they always seem to have a tendency to want to cross thread. And so, like I said, if you're in a real emergency situation where like, okay, I got to get this thing fired up. I got to get some heat going for whatever reason. You're going to have to pay attention. You're going to have to slow down. That way you make sure you don't cross thread it. Really not a big deal, but again, something to pay attention to. So in my opinion, it's kind of a con. Now, second con to me about the little buddy heater so far is the fact that for me personally, I have picked up the Mr. Heater hoses. That way I can use those in combination with my filters and I can use my buddy heater and my big buddy heater in combination with a 20 pound propane bottle. So if I have a situation at home where we have a power outage and I'm trying to keep the family warm, whatever it may be, obviously I can just go and grab a 20 pound bottle and I keep a couple of those always here at the house in stock. And so I can switch those over to 20 pound and I'm good for literally a couple of days off of those things. And so the fact that I don't have a readily available way to go ahead and mount up a 20 pound bottle, and I'm sure there's probably some really creative, some really ingenuitive guys out there that have figured that out, but I would like for something just to be simple and readily available to go ahead and utilize a large propane bottle with a little buddy heater in the event of an emergency. And the third con about the little buddy heater is the fact that it does not have a dial to adjust the temperature setting. I would really like at least at the bare minimum, a low, medium, and high. And so I do know that there would probably be an expense associated with that, but I would like to see at the bare minimum, a high, medium, and low setting for the little buddy heater. So not the end of the world, but to me, just not having any sort of setting and basically just kind of being a hard set and consuming a given amount of fuel. For me, that's kind of a con. So those are really my three primary cons. And that brings us to the pros. And these are in no particular order, but obviously first and foremost is the compact size, the lightweight and the portability. So I do like the fact that this thing is very small, it's very lightweight and it's portable. And so as long as you're not hiking in any crazy distance for me personally, just kind of thinking off the top of my head, I'm just going to gonna hike into like a pop-up blind, something like that. I could throw this thing in a backpack. You know, I can carry a one pound propane bottle with me, not a big deal. And I can basically go and set up a, a pop-up blind all day long with this thing running. Now, obviously we haven't confirmed Mr. Heater's claims of right at five and a half, six hours, something like that out of a one pound propane bottle. But for the most part, you could get the biggest part of a day out of this. And so at the end of your day, you just let this thing cool all the way back off. You either strap it to your backpack or put it down inside your backpack, whatever you need to do. And you can just throw your empty propane bottle down in your pack and you can hike back up to camp. And this would make for a much more comfortable day. And well, let's face it, you know, it's one of those situations to where the more comfortable you can make yourself, the longer you're gonna stay out. So the better your hunt's gonna be. So lightweight, compact, and poor is definitely at the top of the list. And so number two, and again, these are in no order, this thing heats up quickly. So one of the pros to me for this thing is how fast it heats up. And so our little bunkhouse camper doesn't have an insulated floor or anything, or if you're just tent camping, and the fact you can pop in and just fire this thing up and literally within probably a minute and a half, two minutes, something like that, it's basically a full heat. I think that's fantastic. And so number two for me is the fact that the little buddy heater heats up super fast. And I really do appreciate that fact about this. And so that is definitely a big thumbs up. And number three for me is the built-in safety features. I do love the fact that it is indoor safe and it is tip over protected. And so it's one of those things to where if you're going to be 
either in an emergency situation or again if you're doing anything outdoors you know say for con night in a camper and for whatever reason this thing gets tipped over whether it's the dog the cat whatever happens the fact that this has an automatic shut off i really like that about it and in addition to the tip over safety feature the little buddy heater also has a built-in oxygen sensor so you absolutely have no concerns about just completely depleting the oxygen in your environment it will shut itself off and keep everyone safe so for me number three is all the built-in safety features and the fact that this little all-in-one system is indoor safe and there you have it there is a quick rundown pros cons and a comparison to the other heater buddy products out on the market and so this is my little setup that Kyle and i are going to be using for hunting this year and so if you're interested in any of the products that we've talked about in this video there's going to be affiliate links down in the description if you need anything that may get you through the winter or just want to be prepared for any sort of emergency situations with your family you can go ahead and check that stuff out now with that i really do hope you got some good information out of this video or i hope you just enjoyed hanging out with us if you have please do me a huge favor go ahead and hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button and as always we'll see you outdoors